this episode on Sailing for Power. Unprecedented, what the hell? We are hand steering. Hand steering. Just want to get home by now. I'm just uh, had enough sailing for a little bit. This is snapped off the stanchion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mark just woke me oh. up. Ah, can you imagine? The port winch just exploded on me, so another thing to add to the broken list, hey Michael? Been a good one. Last episode we had a rough run from the Clarence River down to Camden Haven. During the passage, I'd accidentally trigger the man overboard beacon on my life jacket. That was Marine Rescue Woolai uh, calling because the water police had a AIS signal uh, beacon. They thought it was an EPIRB go off offshore off Woolai. You wouldn't want to be floating around out there and they call you this late. You're like far out. It would have been a long night or two nights. But um, anyway, it's good to know the system kind of works. Oh, good day, Michael. From Cross Harbour, water police here, how are you? G'day mate, how are you? Good mate, just double checking you turned your e off. Yeah, so, yeah. It's, your, life, your life jacket, I think. Yeah, 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 we've had a few calls, so sorry about that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, we... Good, mate. Where are you at the moment? Camden Haven. Camden Haven, we're about 20 metres oh, in, in front of the uh, VMR, VMR wharf. So they got the signal too, I think, because the life jacket yeah. went off at night yeah. off... Yeah, yeah, right, okay. ...off Woolai or something, and then... Uh, we yeah. were we were repacking it yesterday, Arvo here in Camden. It might have gone off then, so I don't. Where did you get the signal? Where was it saying we were? Uh, it, we got so one ping off Woolai, and then the other one was the Camden Haven River. I didn't think you guys yeah. would pick it up so far away, but because only a short. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was it was pinging off the uh, Port Bory VMR base. Right. Okay. All right. So then we we rang um, JRCC, and then they gave us a better location. Yeah, right. Oh, well, it's good to know. We've had three phone calls yeah, this morning, right. so... Yeah, that's good to know, mate. You all, uh, it works, so... It definitely works. We are just heading out of port now, uh, making our way down the Camden River. Good to be getting back on the horse after the fight that was the other night sail, and hopefully we're going to get a little bit nicer conditions today. It is meant to just drop off more and more through the night, uh, through the day, so... And, yeah, just leaving this beautiful little spot. A bit foggy this morning. Well, the bar's looking a little bit nicer today. It is dead flat. Unbelievable that pin snapped. 
um, yeah, when everything, Murphy's Law, if it's going to go wrong, it will. So I've got the spare pin here, but it needs to be welded on. So I've had a little fossick around in our little bits and bobs box. And I found the old hinges, or the spare hinges from our fridge. So that is almost perfect, but it's a little bit too wide and a little bit too short. But I've got the old one here with a hole in it. I figured if I get a bolt, put that through, and then we can like lash this down or hose clamp it, and we might be able to get away with it. That fits perfectly into the socket of the tiller. I just need to drill this out a tiny bit, and then I can put a bolt on to secure it. So, yeah, see how we go. But far out. Just wanna, just wanna get home by now. I'm just uh, had enough sailing for a little bit. See how we go. Pretty good. There we go, get a bolt for it. Alright, so if we have this piece here, hopefully that just slots straight on. We might have to lash it down, but it's sitting pretty good. About the right height. Well, didn't take too long, but hopefully this might get us out of trouble. Set us a bridge with the wrong hinge, and we have something almost perfect. <laughs> wow, don't speak too soon, but. Working on a tiller pilot while underway is not the easiest thing to work on. I'm just trying to steer and it's like a serious finger jammer so I'm just letting the wind tell us where to go at the moment so Michael can get this tied on and fixed and then we can try and make up our lost speed not that I really care about my speed at this stage So if you sit on that seat and the chillers needs to go hard port, you get jammed. So you got to get out of that seat as soon as the tiller pilot's on. I'd like to make it so this tiller tilts up so you can get in and out of the little hot seat easily. It's seriously, it looks like it's working. I'm pretty excited about this. We need to go to starboard about 20 degrees. MacGyver. Oh well, more lovely conditions. Actually quite comfortable. What are pilots holding up? Doing eight and a half knots. Yeah, 14 knots through wind on the beam. Just behind us, but the appearance a little bit, a little bit forward of the beam. I've just started my shift. Morale is improving. PTSD from the other night decreasing. MacGyver points sky high. Jesse's relaxing. relaxing. No it's stressful relaxing stomach ache. No. Ugg boots dry. Eating chips. Hopefully the storm will be gone soon and. Uh, Carry on. We're on, we're on, we're on. What do you reckon it is? Dolly. You reckon? Little skipjack. So I heard a crack before and I thought, oh, I said to Michael, that didn't sound good. He goes, oh, it was just a big kaboomba, the big <laughs> bridge deck slap. And uh, this is snapped off the stanchion. I don't think. <laughs> you want to get that? Sense of this. <laughs> Michael's got his his undies on, but um, yeah, it's just snapped off. Michael checked all this before we left too, but I think that other night with just the rough weather, it's just cracked under the load. I don't think it matters too much, but we're just tying it back on because we don't know 
I don't know what those are like for loading. Anyway, we've just rounded Seal Rocks. Headland over there. Sawtooth for all the Spiros. Full of snap saps and big sharks. Anyway, we are just um, changing the sails. We've got the heady filled in. And we are going to, I think we're going to drop the main and just see how we go with the heady. We're doing five knots now just with half the main. a pretty rough start to the day um, we have put the main away and we've just got the heady out for tonight we don't want a repeat of the other night and we're just cruising along like so nicely dead down wind um, with six to, sevens. six to sevens we've got the head sail pulled out the only downside is we've got the generator on because it's been overcast all day and all our electronics and stuff have just run the batteries down so much that We've got a whole night sail ahead. We'll probably turn the engines on at about 2 a.m. But we just saw we'll give them a little bit of a top up so we don't have anything turn off um, and just to not damage the batteries mainly. The Jenny on the leeward side so it doesn't get wet. Not that that's much of a concern at this stage. And I've just served dinner. Curried hot sausages, meal. hot meal, hot, a bit of a morale meal. booster. Hot meal in my cold undies. <laughs> But anyway, that's it. Um, hopefully it'll be a pretty uneventful night. I think it's going to pick up just after sunset uh, with a bit of a land breeze, uh, which will be fine. We'll probably get along quite nicely with just the heady out. Um, if not, we'll fell it in a little bit. And yeah, next stop, Sydney. Sydney! Yeah, Benici, there's a big interclub marlin comp on. I told them we went 2-1-1 on striped tuna. <laughs> no response. He obviously not impressed. Not impressed, yeah. I think he's used to catching uh, sick faces every day of his life. But the rods are still out. We're still in it. Not over till the fat lady sings. I would really, it would have been so good to sail through the car park, which is like this crazy busy fishing spot where they have the comp on. Would have been awesome to sail through there and hook up a marlin. <laughs> but I don't think it's going to happen because it's going to be night time when we sail through. And we haven't caught anything. We sort of suck at fishing. Anyway, signing off for the evening. Good night. It's so crazy that, that we put that post up on the easy page and then everyone says drop the main at night, just go with the heady when it's downwind like yeah. this. It makes so much sense now. Like, we're still doing six to eight knots. So many people were like, everyone usually just puts a reef in at night, but on this boat, we just don't need, we don't need the extra well, main. Yeah, it will dead down, we don't need it. I think a lot of boats, their the power comes from their main. Yeah. But for us, the power is from the head sail. Unbelievable. Well, remember when we first bought the boat, all we used to do was the head sail. Beautiful. Look at the moon, that's crazy. I actually thought a ship had a spotlight on us before because the moon was so bright. It's putting shadows in the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Michael just woke uh -huh. me up because, because oh, no. he... <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so there was a crab on the boat and it was in a bucket and it was in the dive tub. It was in there. And I put the bucket over this hole so it don't get sprayed. And it looks like it should still be in there. Where is it? I just heard this noise and I was like, what the f is that? And I looked down, I thought it was a bottle. I went to pick it oh, up. It's a freaking okay, mud trap. you want to pick it up, the yeah. thing. Just been like, man, are we there yet? Can you just put me in a tub of hot this water? This crab has been through a lot. A lot, yeah. Dad, you better appreciate this poor freaking crab. Get out. Huh? <laughs> Dad really wanted a mud crab, so he brought him one. That was the most unexpected thing there. I just heard something fall and I, and I was like, okay, water bottles falling down the stairs. Yep, all right. And then I just heard this like, chuk, 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 chuk,
Lucky I looked because if I just went down to grab a water bottle and Jess is like lying on the ledge and then all of a sudden I just get smashed by this mud crab and just, ah, ah, can you imagine what you would have thought? Yeah, like I, what are you going on about? I was already like, oh, how can you be carrying on so much? What is there possibly down there? I don't, how did that even get, like it had to, I, I have, how did it get over the it edge? It literally like climbed over that step too. Freaking unbelievable. crazy we were so close to home 20 nautical miles and the southerly blew up um not too much but like 15 knots and it's been blowing for a few hours and the seas picked up and we were motoring into it but we just decided this is just sucks so we've got another four hours of this and we were doing like three knots and we decided that we'd tack away and like bear away and try and sail in um, doing a few more miles but a lot faster under sail and as we put the port tack out uh, sorry starboard tack um, the port winch just exploded on me so winch doesn't sound happy yeah it does we just cracked it we said stuff this let's just turn in, we could just turn straight into Sydney Harbour and sail straight into Sydney Harbour. So we're going to do that instead. Another thing to add to the broken list, hey Michael? Been a good one. Been a good one. I almost had broken fingers too with that freaking mud train. It's a Sunday, possibly the worst day to go into Sydney Harbour. Beautiful, sunny, windy day. So there's probably going to be sailboats everywhere. So we're going to pick the closest anchorage and drop anchor there. Have a beer and go to bed. Bloody hard work for a striped tuna. Just knocking up a not so quick sushi meal <laughs> with the uh, the dolphin fish we caught the other night. Been in the fridge for a couple of days. Have to deal with it. So she is. How did you sleep? Didn't. <laughs> had a coffee when I got here. Well, you're a fool. Should have had a beer. I just lie down and just stared at the ceiling. The whole time. This anchorage is amazing as well. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're better off anchoring on the ocean side of the gap. Literally. Check this out. This is why it's so rough in here because there's so much boat traffic. And these ferries accelerate just near our boat. So you get a huge wake. Is that all the fish? It's all of it. Bit of carrot, bit of spring onion, sesame seeds, bit of kewpie, pickled ginger, wasabi. We moved around to Quarantine Bay for the night and it was well worth it. The next day we had a short hop down to the Port Hacking River, our home port. It's Tutankhamun's hat! <laughs> he thought it was a snake. And then just said, no, it's two snakes having sex. It's just Tutankhamun's hat. Close. <laughs> oh, fire out. Welcome to Sydney, eh? A lot of Egyptians. Not one to let rubbish go to waste. And that is too, <laughs> too We're good. Doing a tutan tutan we need Tutankhamun man overboard. Watch that sail when we turn around. It's gonna Vlog ya. King Tut, what's up? <laughs> oh, this oh, little sea life, sea all, life over it. all over it. Chuck it in the tender. How oh, funny. Oh well, we've got the rubbish out of the ocean at least. It's quite surreal, really, isn't it? Yeah, been a nice sail down, going along the cliffs. The, the coastline's so different here, it's so much steeper than the rest of it. Yeah, it is beautiful. We haven't caught anything yet, but... There's so much bait too, we've been seeing little bait balls everywhere. So we just know. suck at fishing. It's weird, it feels strange. It's about to come into Cronulla Bay, or Bait, bait Bay, is that your name? <laughs> you only lived there just your whole life. Out. I yes, found that bait. out recently, but um, I've lived here my entire life. Absolutely beautiful part of the coastline. Uh, maybe just because we're in coast, because we usually don't come in this coast when we're going up to the other coast, but it's really stunning. Maybe I'm biased. <laughs> Excited? Yeah, I am. A little bit. Whoa! Oh, here we are. No, tangled. They wouldn't hear us. <laughs> I've never seen seals here before. Haven't you? Nah. Have you seen seals here? Yeah. Yeah, right. Like a boat uh, sinking off the bottom. We just missed it. it. Sounds like they're under tow, but the. Uh, yeah, so they're trying to tow it as far south out of the shipping channel because that'll cause all sorts of nightmares. Yeah. Just coming into Cronulla now, we've got our friend on the headland and just about to sail past. Pretty excited, greeted by our favourite friends in the world. Oh, I can see her. That's her running up to Fasten Flinders, yeah. Reckon? Yeah, for sure, with okay. Malia in the... I messaged and said, no need to run, we're not that fast. Thanks, Paige. She made it. That was where we were gonna... She wanted to film us from. My parents there too. Yeah, that's probably Dad, Mum and Dad. Woohoo! Home. What a feeling. Really? Hey? Sailing back into Port Hacking. And wing on wing too, the most beautiful uh, sail. Champagne set sailing, up yeah. Camp. It's pretty specky. So we've had Sydney on our boat for about, well, we've had Sydney on the boat since we bought her, but she's actually never been here. So we can legit say she's from Sydney now. Who's that out there? Daddy Michael. 
they are. Almost time. crazy. I can actually see my parents' house. So we made it. We are in Sydney, in Dolans Bay, where I grew up. So it's pretty epic to be here, anchored. Um, my friend's house is right there. Hi Talbot. Your house is just My there. house is just up there, which is pretty crazy. Um, it's a shame Dad couldn't afford $5,000 more back in the 60s, um, which would have gotten him a waterfront, which we could have just pulled the boat up onto. But um, yeah, $5,000, I guess, was a lot of money in those days. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna go in now. Um, our friends, Paige and Patrick. Paige is the one who came down and filmed us. Her partner Patrick actually works at this marina so he sorted us to be able to come and grab a mooring for the night and we're just going to go in now and see what we can sort out long term. It's spin crazy out. like spin out. So we, we looked when we were looking at boats we looked down from your place at this marina and like oh it's a new boat there. Forever oh, oh, yeah. Oh it's a beautiful boat oh, I'd love yeah. to have a boat uh, and then now we're looking the other way. Yeah full circle. Close quarters so it's this is like even closer than Bum's Bay status here. Yeah, but we're on mooring, so. On mooring. Well, just walked up the stairs at the marina onto the street that I've grown up on. Bit of a spin out. <laughs> <laughs> Doing your head in. Weird. How weird is this? We're going to see Chica soon. Just going to walk straight into your house <laughs> from the boat. Very, very strange. So handy. Chica. Where's the little Chica? I got the keys too. Chica! Hello! She's got the new room in here. Hello! Chica! Hey, what about me? Give me some love. Hello, little possum. Hello, That's the people that take me for walks. Hello. Chica! Hello. 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 Chica! And let's see if we can see the boat. Oh yeah, you can just see it just there. Next episode on Sailing Papau, we rip straight into the boat work. The colour doesn't match. So. It's a good opportunity to paint the whole bathroom. Your reward for finishing one job. It's another job! And we make the most of getting caught in the Sydney lockdowns. Have you had that moment yet, Michael? What moment? <laughs> the moment where you go, what, what the hell have I done? <laughs> G'day everyone. G'day guys, thank you so much for all your support. Uh, we've been overwhelmed with the amount of orders we've got on the merch. Um, yeah, if you haven't already got some, um, head on over to sailingforpower.com to check it out. Also, just wanted to say another huge thank you to all our patrons out yep. there. Uh, your support is amazing. Um, we appreciate it. Thank you, and uh, see you on Hopefully the next see one. See you next episode. That's why he was being so aggressive. He wanted to get across before. <laughs> you miss me, you I know what you're excited. You take me for the walks. You wanna go for another oh, one, do you? Stink. I gotta tell you. Oh she stinks, yeah. <laughs> so we got here and you said we need to get a burger. <laughs>